basically it's west of the dividing range is where the overwhelming majority of the food production happens. Okay, we're actually going to be going and doing the main work just over there where I've got that set up. And I thought I marked her, but when I looked on the lid, I couldn't see anything, so I opened up to have a look. And no, it did still have a queen going in there. The queen was still laying. There was a queen laying, I should say. So... There's one that I've yet to uh, get into to have a look. Drone brood down here. See these bigger cells? Yep. That's the drone brood. These are queen cells that they are in the process of building because they think they should be uh, flying away. Mm. So, this is a pretty big one, isn't it? With four. Yes, yeah, it's, it has been quite a... Uh, so it's got a box and three supers, is that correct? Yeah, a brood chamber. Brood chamber. And uh, three supers, yeah. So you only use a box when you're at your place breeding? Sorry? You only use a box? Oh, yeah, one, yeah, one, um, yeah, one super, yep. And that the whole idea is to make them want to swarm. Well, think about swarming. <laughs> think seriously about swarming. What is that there? Clothes? Brood. Oh, no, that's brood. Yep, yep. And there's the queen. Right there. Oh, yeah. Still got a bit of blue on it from. Oh. So we're taking her out for what reason? A uh, friend of mine who's also in the uh, Queen Bee Breeding Association. He's wanting a breeder queen and I said to him look I've got a queen that is going on two years old she's doing really well she is starting to lose her get up and go but the fact that she's had such a good hive for so long means that she's going to have you know, she's going to be good to uh, to breed from. So he's actually going to be raising queens from her. Wow. So just gently pick her up 
then pull that into the cage. And that's her. Wow. And do you put some workers with her? No, I won't be because she will go on top of a queenless nucleus hive back at the shed. Yeah. And those bees will look after her. Okay. So they they will are oh, because it's queenless. Yes. Right. They will yeah. they will look after her. So they definitely won't reject her. No. Oh, he's just hanging out next to my leg. <laughs> uh-huh. And your bees are not aggressive then? Is, is that no. That is a direct result of getting, of raising queens from stock that's come from a, a reputable queen breeder. <clears throat> Those two frames of foundation right. were put in um, when Craig and I came through them just a few days ago. The queen is laid in them, so now they're being put into the centre because that way you have the new combs in the centre and that way it pushes the old combs to the outside. Okay. And then when you actually do your first manipulations in springtime, you're removing the outside frames. So then that means to say you're taking the oldest frames out of the hive. And then yeah, new frames go in, they go into the center when they get drawn when they get drawn out and laid in. And it just keeps on the cycle just keeps on happening. Okay. So that way you know that your oldest frames are always on the outside of the box. Yeah. And your, your, your newest frames are on the inside, in the middle. And they're not all brood, are they? <coughs> um, this time of the year, they mainly are, because they've had the... the um, They've had the spring build-up, where they've had huge quantities of pollen and um, adequate nectar for them to um, actually turn most of the frames into um, uh, the queen to lay in most of the frames and most of the frames to be brewed. Um, occasionally, that's why on the outside edges, there's usually um, a f honey and or pollen on the outside edges of the brood chamber. And when the hives are going really well. You can you can lift that honey and pollen out and put foundation in, and they'll be then you know, full brood across the box. And that's the way that they uh, build their populations because you're taking out frames that aren't being utilised for brood and putting new frames in, which they then utilised for brood. Okay. Is that because you're giving them some room as well? Or just the time of It year? does. Yeah, you're giving them room and they're also wanting to expand themselves. So you're just helping the yeah. situation. That's part of the management. Just helping them along. What do you call it? A head, a head, head veil. Yeah. 
I didn't think it was called a head neck thingy. <laughs> <laughs> My technical language. Uh, well, if the bees aren't stinging, I... I use appropriate protection. Yeah. When the bees are quiet, like where you are, yeah. if the bees were in any way narky. Actually, yeah, I'm at the entrance. Yes. <laughs> they would be doing, they would be registering their complaints. Yes. <laughs> but because they're so quiet, because everything's going so well for them, they're so quiet. Yeah. You can do practically anything you well, want. Well, yeah, okay. With them. It's just an absolutely brilliant day to be out and about. There's something very um, therapeutic about being outdoors. And tonight, yeah, there will be an absolutely brilliant show of stars. Because there isn't much in the way of uh, pollution to uh, mask the stars.